hey guys welcome back to my channel it's marisa in today's video i am going to show you how to make these beautiful frames out of a plain wooden frame we're going to do some altered frames today so let's get started Hey guys, welcome back. So look at these two beautiful frames that I made. I was gifted these IKEA frames maybe about 10 years ago and I didn't do anything with them. That's my mermaid dream. And this is my beautiful little winter scene. I just love how these came out. So these are some plain IKEA frames. Like I said, I was gifted. They were just hanging around my house. So we're just gonna need that piece there with the stand on it, it's cardboard. We're going to take these two pieces and just chuck them <laughs> in the garbage. And I'm going to be using some of the Anita's craft paint in these beautiful Christmas colors or holiday colors. Christmas red and Christmas green. And here are some of the things that I chose to possibly use in this project. Most of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. They have some great sales, usually 40% off or 50% off Christmas stuff right now beautiful papers and stickers and some of those uh, the bling is from the Dollar Tree so I'm gonna pick some of the stuff obviously I can't use all of it so the first step is we are going to paint the wooden frame so let's get started okay guys sorry about the lighting the light is kind of bouncing off the craft mat there so try not to look at that. But anyway, I'm just doing a wet on wet technique. I am just blending with this small little uh, square brush, um, the red and the white, just kind of blending it together. And remember it's acrylic paint, so it dries really fast. So if you feel you've made a little mistake or you want to build up the color, you can just keep on layering and layering. So I'm just covering all the sides with the white and the green. And now I'm just mixing in some of that white on top. I'm just going to keep on blending together and building up those beautiful colors. And again, this paint dries really, really fast fast so it's really easy to layer the paint and I will be this is just the first coat that I'm putting down for you guys and I am going to be putting another layer on top of it I happen to like brush strokes and texture in my uh, artwork I just like artwork you can like touch and feel so I like a lot of texture And these craft paints, I can link the um, video here, but I just did a, a review on Anita's um, craft paints from Hobby Lobby. And these are really some of the most beautiful uh, craft paints I've used. They're really cheap. They're either 79 cents or 89 cents, depending on the color. So here you go, I'm just like, adding more whoop and I just made a mistake see how quick it and easy it is to correct mistakes because it's acrylic paint so I'm just layering the colors again I'm blending it all together and I'm just gonna come out really beautiful in the end and there you go okay so here it is I just finished painting it that's like just two coats or three coats with all that beautiful texture and now we're going to put that to dry. And while that's drying, we are going to now glue down. I already pre-cut this beautiful piece of paper, this uh, beautiful red and white snowflake paper. And I'm actually using one of my favorite adhesives from the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to put a nice amount down, make sure that paper stays on there. And I'm just going to use my finger and just spread it around. Uh, to the back of that uh, piece of cardboard 
and I'm actually going to look for some more frames at the Dollar Tree, like plain frames, so I could actually continue to do this. Or find the rest of my Ikea frames, I could continue making more. But this is a really great idea if you go to Michael's or something and you get uh, a plain frame, you can alter it yourself. So I'm just going to place that down. And then once I wash my hands and I just wipe off some of that glue, that extra glue, I'm going to press down on the paper so it stays really nice down on that cardboard. So once that dries, we're going to just paint the back and all the sides so it has a nice finished look to it. Okay, so here comes the really, really fun part. So we're going to pick some stuff. I already have an idea of what I want to do. But here's some of the things that I'm going to choose. So first, let's take a look at this. It came out really nice. Here's the back. And don't worry about the back so much. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it really came out nice. It does dry matte, so that's really pretty. So I am going to use some of my Tonic Studios glitter drops, and I'm also going to use some of the resin pieces I made. Um, I use some BB Craft um, molds. Um, so I use the. I'm going to be using the Christmas tree and a sleigh, and I'm also going to use some pom pom trim, and I may use some of the Dollar Tree bling, and I have some pop dots here to add some dimension. Just some adhesives, just a nice variety here. My glue gun, I'm definitely going to need. And then, of course, some of this Dollar Tree tacky glue here. So that's all prepared, ready for me to go. Let's just take one more look at this beautiful mermaid. This is really like my fav one of my favorite things I ever made, I think. And this beautiful winter scene, I just love it. It has a lot of detail. So let's get start decorating. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gold bling strip. It's like a sticker strip. And I am just going to lay it right down there. And what I love about them is you just have to rip off the ends. Just like that. It's so simple. You just press down a little bit. And then you have a nice little blingy strip there. Beautiful. Love it. And then you can add the extra right back to that sheet there. Simple. So the next thing is I'm going to pick that sticker right there, the child making the snowman. I kind of want to make a winter scene, a snowman scene. So we're going to place that down, just almost like a real landscape. And what I suggest you could do is just have an idea of what you want to do beforehand and lay everything out. So that is done. And then the next thing we're going to do is take that it's an ephemera, it's like a die cut. And we're gonna take some pop dots and we're gonna add some three dimensions to it. I love projects that have all different dimensions, not just flat. So that's gonna just like, just give it a little bit of a 3D feel to it. And we're gonna make it look like a real scene here. So we're going to add that there. So it looks like the child is really standing next to a real tree. Perfect. Perfect placement. Love it. Press that down really well. And that's that part. So the next step is I'm going to actually take one of these beautiful stickers. I love these clear stickers. Um, with the script because it actually looks like you've written now my handwriting is horrible so this is perfect for me and that's why I love them it kind of just blends into the background so it's clear just with the writing so it looks like you hand wrote on the frame and it's acting a little wonky and there simple just press that down really really well And it actually looks like it's a handwritten word holiday. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to glue gun, hot glue, this very beautiful flower. It's like a fabric flower that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's like a plaid flower, and that's actually perfect with the red and the green. 
and that's done. This is really simple, guys. So now we're gonna take one of my resin pieces that I already made, like maybe a month ago. And I'm gonna put that down right on the side of the frame. Right there. Just give it an, a little extra dimension, just different feels to it. And now I'm gonna take that beautiful, cute little sleigh, and I'm gonna hot glue that to the other side of the frame. Right there is perfect. I just love this so far. This is a perfect Christmas gift for anyone or a holiday gift. And so now I'm going to take this pom-pom trim. It is a little too long, so I'm going to go off. I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to hot glue it down. Okay, guys, so I hot glued the pom-pom trim, and I also added another resin piece. It's like this beautiful little star. So this is looking really beautiful. So I just, I'm going to add a little bit more. Now I'm going to use my Nuvo by Tonic Studios, this white I bought specifically to create like a snowy effect on projects. So we're just going to add some more dimension here by adding a little bit of quote unquote snow to our project right on that paper. And now I'm actually going to add some snow to the tree itself to make it look like little snowflakes dropped on the tree. Yeah, don't be afraid to use your Nouveau stuff. You can use glitter glue and look at that. Now the tree looks nice and snowy. So now I'm going to add some glitter drops and I'm going to do it right on the paper and the snowflakes just to add a little sparkle to it. Just right in the center of some of these snowflakes. Just to give it a little extra touch. I think it's really pretty. And with the Nouveau drops in my last tutorial, you just let them dry naturally. I'm just going to add a little bit to the sides of the frame. And I'm going to get the last color. And add a little more drops to it. That beautiful pinky glitter there. And that's it. So we are done, guys. That is it. How do you like it? I hope you love it as much as I do. This is really simple and fun to do. You can do it with the kids for a holiday project. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Bye!